All right, so you're like the jack of all trades with everything that you've done, and you're so young. <laughs> what, what do you say to know, I mean, to know how much you've done in such a short amount of time, and so well? Uh, thank you. No, I, I, I've been very lucky. I, I, yeah, I started young in Norway doing doing movies, and suddenly that got me here. And and uh, I pitched this idea three years ago now, something like that, to to, to Gary Sanchez Productions, with Will Ferrell, Adam McKay, those guys, mm -hmm. um, and they really loved it. And they took me to Paramount right after, and we we sold it there. And it's just been, yeah, it's been fast and strange. And a lot of people will respectfully say that you have kind of a sick and twisted mind because if you think about you know like the, the Dead Snow movie then with Hansel and Gretel you bring together old and new and, and comedy mixed with action and, and drama uh, you know what what was the biggest obstacle going into something like that? Well I, it is exactly what you're saying is it's, it's tricky balancing those things and, and we, we talked a lot about that how far do you go with the comedy how far do you go with the gore and the action and especially the comedy it's always dangerous if you go too far it kind of loses impact a little bit it makes it more like a joke and a parody so we, we, we tried hard to just get the right amount of jokes and the right amount of gore and hopefully we, we got a good combination. And there's a lot that goes into the creative process behind things like this. Do you enjoy acting or writing, or or does it kind of change from day to day on what your most favorite part is? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I do love most of it. I, I do, I do. And then you know, directing this thing was was a, a blast for me because I, I've done movies in Norway before. We have very limited resources, and it's hard hard shooting movie in Norway, really hard. And for me to have to feel a stu the backing of a studio and get a lot of resources and just everything I thought about when it comes to witches and trolls and sets, I could do it. So that was uh, new to me and, and really fun and, and just to play around in this world. And I have to ask really really fast how the movie ended it was awesome. Uh -huh. But you kind of left it open where there could be something again in the future. Is that something that you would be open to discussing? Yeah, I would. I would. If people like it, you know, who knows what people will say. Will say. But uh, I, for sure, I think there's more fun to be had if we if we get the chance. I have an idea, so let me know. If uh, know okay. Know. <laughs> right, cool. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I love the movie, and I love your character. Oh, thank you. But I have to say, I noticed within like the first five minutes of seeing you, I was like, holy crap. That makeup process must have been hell. It was. Well, I'm glad they... you saw that. <laughs> yeah, because I, I mean, you looked beautiful, and then it was just a total change with the makeup, and I, yeah. I bet that took hours. It did. It what, did. How long did that take? About three hours. It took four in the beginning. They got it down, and they cut it down in some time, um, and then it took about an hour at the end of the night to take it off again. Oh my gosh! So it's like you're sitting, preparing, getting ready. Then you have to go to work, and yes. then you know that you have to get it all torn off. Yeah. Now, one thing that obviously you can notice right off the bat meeting you is that you're very, you're tall. You yes. have very large feet, which is beautiful. <laughs> Do, has that ever, does that usually help you in getting roles or does that what, really? The feet? Just, just being a, a tall, just being a tall person. No, no. I mean, most no. actors are not that tall. Right. That's what. That's so what. I've, yeah, that. I've had many calls before auditions in the past where they said flats, wear flats, wear flats. Yeah. Um, so no, but it, you know, I'm in good company. Nicole Kidman's very tall, and right. Emma Thurman's tall. So there've been a, a lot of taller actresses uh, over the years, but men, you know, I mean, think, thankfully I've worked with some of the tall men, like Liam Neeson, and, yeah. um, you know, a whole bunch of, uh, there's not many, but I've worked with some of them, so that's good. I've noticed with a lot of your roles that you've played before that, you know, the projects that you've done, has they have very rabid fan bases, like X-Men, and your recurring role on Nip Tuck, Nip Tuck and stuff like that. So you have, for those projects, there's a lot of, I don't want to say crazy, I want to say enthusiastic fans right. that might not be able to tell the difference between who you are on screen and who you are in real life, that there's a total, did you have, do you have any crazy stories? From you know, surprisingly little really, because I, I and I, I live in New York, I walk down the street a lot, mm -hmm. and um, I really am left alone. Maybe I look very different in person than I do on screen. I have no idea what it is. A lot of people don't put together that the same person in Taken is this, you know, is the person who's in, in X-Men, who's the person who's in GoldenEye, who's the person in something else. So I, I mostly really get left alone, it's okay. great. On a personal level, I heard that you have a hobby that you make outfits for animals. Is that true? For, for my own dog. For yeah, your dog, I do. What yes. kind of what kind of outfits do you make? Well, they're very they're kind of skater inspired. So they're hoodies with oh. those little strings hanging out, and and um, you know so you definitely have like the hood and four dog. legs. And I have a hipster dog. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's uh, awesome. Well, he's now a hipster grandpa. Oh, <laughs> he's really? He's 12 years old, so he's a senior citizen. He's got his little knit cap But he still him. is, you know, hip. That's great to hear. Well, I think you did fantastic in the movie. Thank you very and much. I, appreciate I it. I really enjoyed it, and I look forward to your many projects in the future. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. So the movie we saw last night, awesome. What'd you see? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if it was out. Weird fairy tale thing. It's like fifty. It's oh, like so the sequel type. I don't know. Maybe you've heard of it. Okay, good. Good couple. So, um, I have to say. I saw Django Unchained. <laughs> <laughs> the first like five to ten minutes of the movie, I have to say, just watching you guys, it made me tired just watching it. Did you guys do anything to prepare physically for it? Because uh, you guys were all over the place. I did. Jeremy didn't because he's like <laughs> naturally able to do all that stuff. No. But I had to do this like boot camp kind of flight training thing, really? which was cool and, and intense. So you got to beat people up? Yeah, basically. Was it was fun. cool. Well, you know, I did want to ask you because throughout your career, you st we saw you first as, you know, with Daniel Craig. And you've done so many different things, like both ends of the spectrum. What drew you into this movie? What was it about this movie? It was a, th it was a brother and sister thing. Um, it's really unusual to see two the heroes being brother and sister mm -hmm. and all of the complexities that come with that relationship and that was the main thing and uh, working with Jeremy and yeah, that was it. Do you guys know each other beforehand or did you meet on set? Yeah, we, we met on set really. Mm -hmm. We spoke on the phone several times and emailed and sent her pictures. Naked what kind of pictures? Yeah, with my feet. <laughs> no, man. And just like we just communicate quite yeah. a bit about kind of what we want to do. And mm -hmm. Now, do films like this almost for you come second nature because of all the stuff that you've done in the past? No, I I think um, that's when you get lazy and complacent. Mm -hmm. It's just when you get injured. So, I mean, every day is a challenge mm -hmm. um, in its own right. Um, again, it's the simplest things. Running through a forest and not really proper shoes is easy to right. get in a tumble and you know snap an ankle real quick. So. One thing that I find unique about you is that there's a lot of actors that they have the roles that they play and they have the people that they are in real life. And some people have a hard time seeing the line that that's my role and that's who I am. Right. And real person. And you've always played, or a lot of times you've played roles where you're the you're the person that we like. You're the person that we want to succeed. You're the hero almost. And you're almost the same way in real life being a goodwill ambassador, right? Do you do that? Sure. Yeah. I, must, yeah, I do what I can. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. And yeah. you built house? I hear you built houses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very nice. It just is so perfect. It's just so perfect. <laughs> now, how the movie ended, <laughs> how the movie ended, it almost left, left it open jerk. to maybe see something in the future. Do you guys see anything <laughs> happening? Yeah. See what? See like a sequel or something like that? Do you see the possibility? Hey, man, that? do you have a crystal ball? I don't. No, I... <laughs> We, were, we put a lot of hard work into this one, and we're doing our, our best to get it out there and hope people see it and really enjoy it, come out with a big smile mm. on their face. Awesome. And that's, that's what we're concerned about well, now.